Hello again team, it's Jess or Jessica Rin, and welcome back for another video. As the title suggests, today I am setting up for June in my bullet journal. But before we get into that, we're as always going to have a look at how this month was going. Now, as we're only halfway through May, these spreads aren't fully filled in yet, but for the current month my theme is stars in this fun and bright colour palette. I am really enjoying using these. I've found that I'm being pretty consistent with getting into my journal and filling stuff in, and I'm hoping to continue that for June. One thing I am finding a little difficult though is the amount of space that I've left myself for my daily checklists on my weekly logs. I did actually intentionally make them smaller than I normally would prefer, just as a way to try and get myself to not overly exert myself or overcommit myself to a bunch of different things each day. Mixed results with that. Heading into the time lapse now though, just a reminder that all of the equipment I use in today's setup is listed in the description box below. From my start of journal theme page, or maybe from the thumbnail of this video, you'll know that for the month coming, my theme is pride flags. This includes as many pride flags as I could find slash figure out how to use in my setup. So not only the rainbow flag, but also flags for transgender pride, asexual pride, a romantic pride, and others. There are a heap of different pride flags, so I haven't been able to use all of them, but I did want to highlight as many as I could. If your pride flag isn't included in this setup, please don't take any offense. There's certainly none meant by it. Some of the ones I haven't used for my monthly pages, I will certainly be using in the spreads I have for my weekly logs, but I won't be able to include all of them, because as I said, there are a lot. For the quote page I'm doing here, this one is inspired by the design of the straight ally flag. So the black and white stripes in the background and the stylized A symbol in the rainbow colors that are found on the traditional gay pride flag. The quote I'm going for here is love is love, and I'm repeating this all over the page in different colors to make that flag design. This is similar to the October cover page that I did back in 2019 for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, where I repeated the word October all over the page to make the picture of the breast cancer pink ribbon. You can see that for the white sections of the flag, I opted in for a light gray tombow, just so that you could still see that the letters were there. You can likely also see that for each subsequent row, I offset the love is love quote by two letters, just so that I didn't end up with columns of individual letters. In terms of timing, the quote page took me 36 minutes and then it was on to the cover page. I wanted to continue the love is love design on this one, but I switched the straight ally flag for the traditional gay pride flag. I thought that having these two flags together would be one of the best ways to make the two pages actually tie together, as they'll both end up with the same colour palette and both flags have the same number of stripes. Making things cohesive in this setup was probably the hardest part. As I was trying to include as many pride flags as possible, that's a lot of different colour palettes to include. I can't say I necessarily achieved fully cohesive pages, but one of the things that I used to strive towards that was certainly heading styles. The bold letters you can see that I penciled in here for June, I made sure to repeat on the layouts that follow, just to try and have all the pages have a common element. I made good use of my ruler and circle stencil to put in the outlines of the letters, as I wanted them to be even in size, and then I set about filling these in with black. If you watch them, you may have seen that in one of my recent vlogs, I finally got around to swatching, sorting, and storing my Archer and Oliver Acrylograph pens, so I wanted to make use of them in this setup. The black acrylograph from the primary set gives such a nice opaque black, so that was the pen I used for these bold lettered headers. From first touch of the pen to final erasings, this cover page took 45 minutes, and I am damn chuffed with how the page turned out. I really like the contrast between the bright colours and the bold black letters, and I also like the balance between the quote and cover page with the two different flag designs. I think they complement each other well. Over the page, we're onto the monthly log. The design of this one was inspired by the transgender pride flag, with the pale blue, pale pink, and white stripes. I decided to use this one here as the number of stripes fitted with the number of weeks in the calendar. So that the background didn't distract from the writing in of events, which will eventually go on this spread, I switched from the Tomo Jewel Brush markers to my Stettler Triplus Fineliners to write in the Love is Love background. These pens have a much thinner tip, so make the background a little more subtle. You'll see I again used light grey for the white section of the flag, 
and I also did leave some blank space for where my calendar boxes are going to go. Being a fan of contrast, I wanted to use black paper for this one, so I made use of my Artra & Olive Neapolitan notepad. I first cut the paper to size, so with pieces for each half of the calendar and the headers, and then set about putting in the dividers for each week on the calendar. I used washi tape to section off the places that I wanted the colour, and then just filled these in with the colours that match the transgender pride flag. This is where those acrylographs came in handy again. As they're paint pens, it means you can use them over black paper and actually have them show up, unlike water-based markers. As I was using fairly light colours, I did have to go over with the pen a couple of times, just to make sure I was getting solid blocks of colour that I was happy with. Once the colouring was done though, I just had to pull off the washi tape carefully to reveal my nice, crisp coloured dividers. Any imperfections I just fixed up with a black pen, and then I stuck everything in with double-sided tape. I wrote the headers in for each weekday with the acrylographs again, and then put in the June 2021 header in the same style as the cover page. Getting an accurate record for the amount of time taken on this spread was a little bit tricky, but the estimate I came up with was about 2 hours. That's with roughly 20 minutes for the background, 40 minutes for each of the two calendar pieces, and the rest of the time for the headers. I was probably being a little cautious with dry times for my pens, but this was for sure the most time consuming part of my setup. That said though, I do think it turned out really good. When it comes to writing in my events for the month, I'll be using the 0.7mm acrylograph pen in white, but I don't add any of those in this video. Monthly log finished, and so it's over the page and onto my mood tracker. This is the layout that took me the most time to figure out what I wanted to do with it. The penning in only actually took 16 minutes, but idea generation took a lot longer. Typically when I do a mood tracker, it involves little doodles related to my monthly theme, and then I colour them based on a scale of negative to positive. Following that idea, I did consider having 30 little flag doodles that I colour in with a certain pride flag design based on my mood, but I didn't really like the implication from that that some pride flags were more positive than others. I also considered picking one pride flag and assigning colours from that flag to different moods, but then I wouldn't really end up with a design that mimics the layout of the flag itself. What I've instead opted in for is a bar graph style mood tracker. So the longer the bar for each day, the better my mood. The bars are going to be sectioned off and assigned colours, so that come the end of the month, it shows the aromantic pride flag. This one has five coloured stripes, so I'm going to be having six days of the month assigned to each of those colours. So June 1 through 6 in the darker green, 7 to 12 in the lighter green, etc. I've got an overlay here to show you kind of what I mean. So this is similar to what it'll end up looking like come the end of the month. You can likely see from the pencil sketches on the opposite page that this one is going to mimic the design of the mood tracker. This right hand page is to list out the monthly action items I have for my goals, and is aligned with the design of the asexual pride flag, which has four stripes, so giving me four horizontal spaces to write in the action steps for my three goals, and then the space at the bottom for any other action items I have. I found that having this page in my monthly setup, so a page just dedicated to listing what my goals action items are, has really helped with making sure I'm keeping my goals in the front of my mind. In May I've been trying to check in with this list daily, even if just to remind myself of what my action items are. While the length of each row on the mood tracker is going to represent how positive I was feeling that day, on this page the flag design is just for decoration, so it just acts as a border down the left hand side of that page. Also, if you wanted to know the meaning behind these flags, so what each of the colours represent, or even what each of the sexuality slash gender terms mean, so for instance, asexual, bisexual, polysexual, pansexual, transgender, agender, etc. I've got a link in the description box below to the reference that I used when I was looking up the different flags, so that could be a helpful starting point. Up next was my monthly habit tracker. I decided to go back to the vertical style for June, as that way I can easily fill in my habit completion to make it represent another pride flag. The flag I chose for this one was the gender fluid or gender flexible flag, mainly because it has five stripes, which means I could again have six days for each of the colours. I haven't decided what my habits for the month are going to be just yet, but once I do, I'll assign each habit an icon and write those along the top of the tracker. 
As a side note, if you were wanting to change up your habit tracker style and needed some ideas, I do have a video that looks at 11 different ways to set up a habit tracker, which could be useful. That one is linked in the description box below if you were curious. Here's another overlay so you can kind of see what this tracker will look like when it's all filled in. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do to represent habits that haven't been completed though, just considering I have both a black stripe and a white stripe on this flag. So if you had any recommendations, I would love to hear about them. On to my social media schedule page, which took 20 minutes. This one has the same layout as May, so sections for YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon, with a mini calendar in the bottom right. This would also be a good time to mention that I've recently started a new YouTube channel called Jashi Curran Vlogs. As the name implies, this is where I'll now be posting my weekly vlogs, so if that's something you already enjoy watching or wanted to check out, I've got a link to that channel in the description box below. While I finish off filling in my social media scheduler, question of the day for you guys, what is your bullet journal theme for the month coming? Despite the difficulties with cohesiveness, I have really enjoyed setting up my pride flag inspired spreads. As I said at the start of this video, there are a lot of different pride flags, and I've only been able to include some in this setup. My intention at this stage is to use the tricolor flags in my weekly spreads. So the bisexual, pansexual, polysexual, and genderqueer pride flags. For now though, we're onto the flip through. So we have my quote and cover page, my monthly log, mood tracker and monthly action steps list, my habit tracker and my social media scheduler. Certainly one of my more colourful monthly themes, but I am excited to see how using these spreads goes. As always team, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye!